the Venerable Dr. Cheng Ohun Li, who is the president of the One Buddhism International. Dr. Cheng Ohun Li, please. Mr. President, Excellencies, colleagues and friends, it is my great honor to celebrate World Interfaith Harmony Week with you here at General Assembly today. Our global society needs innovative moral politics to develop and implement a revolutionary global wisdom and awareness to strengthen and revitalize the UN. It is a novel initiative to empower humanity through interfaith understanding and collaboration. It can transform conflict energy or mistrust, dislike, and hatred in our world. In this new era of the 21st century, we need to update our mentality to meet the challenge of our time. Today, with the rapid advancement of material civilization, with the ever-expanding new technology, we need to cultivate spiritual civilization together as equal measure. Interreligious understanding or cooperation may be the most effective instrument for world peace and harmony because religions are vital agents for change. And today, religion increasingly become part of a solution. It has the potential to be instrument of cultural peace by highlighting unity in diversity and diversity in unity. I have a great hope that cooperation between UN and the world religions will bring positive change in the world. It is part of my Buddhist faith that everyone, everything is connected and part of a whole. To the awakened mind, all religions and spirituality are based on common source. All human beings and all forms of life are interconnected as an extended family. And all social, economic, religious, and political enterprises have a common purpose. But this not, is not so easy for many people to see. Interfaith dialogue may help everyone to see the ties that connect us all. What we can do to build interfaith harmony is quite humble. It is a quiet acceptance within the deepest part of us that all things on earth are one. When you look at the next person, you realize and understand without question that person is you. Everything you say and do to that person exactly as though you are saying and doing to yourself. This simple concept is at heart of Buddhist teaching, one in all and all in one. It is at first very difficult to most people to grasp as we tend to consider ourselves distinctively separate entities. But we learned a painful lesson from 9-11 there is no us and them. Once we accept the concept of interconnectedness and interdependency, it will transform self-interest to mutual interest and find ways, wisdom, and compassion to reduce and eliminate suffering in our world. Cultivating inner peace is a critical first step for world peace. The Buddha taught that the mind is trained there is inner peace and joy. If the mind is undisciplined, there is suffering. In addition to cultivating inner peace to really create the world peace together, it is critical to invite active role of a woman. If we cooperate and incorporate women's gifts, utilizing half of the world's population's talents, we can transform the way we handle global affairs. <laughs> Women's perspective should be included in all level of decision making, including religion and interfaith dialogue. <laughs> I believe in the power of individual to make a great change in our world. Every action, word and intention 
has an effect. We act today as a commu community of dedicated individuals with the faith that what we do here can transform the world. I pray that World Interfaith Harmony Week deepen and strengthen our love and wisdom for all. Thank you.